This video will give you a quick overview of how OnePager Express works. OnePager Express creates automated, data-driven, professional quality timelines and Gantt charts using the data that you already have in Microsoft Excel. If you use a project management tool like Smartsheet, Primavera P6, Planisware, or others, you can export your data to Excel and then import it straight into OnePager Express from there. Get started with OnePager Express by opening your Excel file. OnePager can report on one or multiple projects at a time, but in this video we'll keep it simple by building a single project chart. OnePager Express is pretty flexible. It can build a Gantt chart or a timeline from an Excel file in pretty much any format. However, you do need to have the basic building blocks of a project schedule in Excel before you can create something in OnePager. Here's what we recommend. The task name is the name of your task. Keep it short if you can. Each task should be listed on a separate row of your spreadsheet. Next to each task, specify a start and a finish date. We also recommend having a unique ID. Think of this as a fingerprint or a serial number for each task in your project plan. Each task's ID should be unique and the same task should always have the same ID even as you continue to update your spreadsheet and your one-pager chart. You don't need to overthink the unique ID too much. Here, each task is simply numbered sequentially, and that will work just fine. We also need to decide which tasks and milestones to include in the chart. The easiest way to do this is to insert a filter field, like we have here, and place a yes next to the items that should be included. For tasks that you don't want to include, you can mark them as no or simply leave those cells empty. If you want to create a more complex project schedule, you can always add more fields to your Excel file to track things like progress, status, resource assignments, or budget information. The five fields discussed earlier are really the minimum for what you need for a basic project plan. OnePager doesn't care about the exact name of these fields or what order they're in. As long as you have something close in your spreadsheet, you'll be in good shape. Once your spreadsheet looks good, go to the Add-ins tab of Excel and click the OnePager Express button. If you don't have an Add-ins tab, you can use OnePager's desktop shortcut instead. On the Start screen, click New to make a new OnePager chart. At the top of the import wizard, you can add more spreadsheets if you'd like to combine data from multiple projects into a single chart to make a program or a portfolio level view. For now, we'll stick to just this one project. Next, choose a template to drive the look and feel of your chart, or just use the default template that's already been selected. Give your chart a title, which will be the name of your file when you save it. This section allows you to control which tasks and milestones from your project plan should be included in your one-pager chart. We've already set up a yes-no field back in Excel, so we can leave that selected for a faster filtering option. For a simpler project, you could also just choose to bring in everything from Excel without filtering. Now, choose the date for your snapshot, which serves as the status date of your chart. Over time, you can add multiple snapshots to your chart at different dates and track those changes to your project. Click on the Next button to see which fields from Excel OnePager is planning to use in your chart. You have some flexibility here, but as discussed earlier, you always want to have something selected for the task name, start and finish dates, and the unique ID. When you're ready, click Create New Chart. OnePager will filter the tasks and milestones from your spreadsheet and combine them with the settings from the template to quickly give you a data-driven chart. If you don't get exactly what you're looking for initially, you can modify hundreds of different settings using the Chart Properties button on the Home tab, or you can make minor drag-and-drop edits in the body of your chart using the toolbar. When possible, we strongly recommend customizing the settings of your chart using the Chart Properties button, since these edits will be more directly tied to the data in your spreadsheet and will be easier to standardize later. 
The real power of one pager is behind that chart properties button. So it's definitely worth exploring on your own or watching our video that covers it in more detail. When you're ready to present, just hit the copy button on the home tab, which will place your chart onto the clipboard and make it available to be pasted into PowerPoint or virtually anywhere else. For more information, please review our other videos, or you can visit onepager.com forward slash support, or email us at support at onepager.com.